Hi guys, somehow we have made it to Sunday, June 10th, 2012, here in Austin, Texas, and perhaps in your town too, it's the single hottest, most miserable day of the entire year. We're looking right at triple digits with zero chance of rain. Uh, I've just done two little rants, working my way up into this one. The subject of today's rant is uh, immunitizing the eschaton. Immunitizing the eschaton, which is kind of the Terence McKenna way of saying bringing on the end of the world. Uh, now, needless to say, a, a rant about immunitizing the eschaton I, is not something that I'm going to be able to talk about in two minutes. This is going to be one of the, my famous rambling monologues, uh, which will require some sort of discernment and critical thinking on the part of a listener. If you want a 15-second news bite on bringing down civilization, uh, I, I don't know where to lead you, but you're not going to find it here. So you have been warned. Okay? With that being said, uh, that disclaimer out of the way, uh, the idea for this rant came a few days ago when I was having dinner with a very intelligent friend of mine, very up on current events, uh, an intelligent, educated, uh, articulate friend of mine who, I don't know how ironic he was being when he just, just kind of out of nowhere he mentioned the Illuminati's plan to immunitize the eschaton by uh, depopulating. I can't remember the word he used. Was it killing, depopulating? But anyway, four billion people within 36 hours. And, you know, when I really pressed him on this, I said, well, what? I, you know, in all this, this, this mythical New World Order depopulation agenda is one of the, the main subjects that I have been studying for the past three years. And I mentioned I had never heard this, and to please state his sources uh, so I could, so I could uh, follow this story more about the Illuminati's plans to depopulate 4 billion people in the space of 36 hours. And once he was pressed to, to back his statement up with some sources, what he came up with was, not surprisingly, was some vague reference to some old Alex Jones video that he had seen years ago. But the actual term about the um, about immunitizing the eschaton was from some trilogy. I can't remember who wrote it, Illuminatus or whatever. I'll, I'll get to it on my reading list as soon as I finish Atlas Shrugged. And uh, but this whole subject of immunitizing the eschaton. There's even a a Wikipedia uh, entry with with this. Uh, I would tell you how to spell it, but I don't know how to spell it. And even when you get to Wikipedia, you find there's some uh, argument how to spell the word immunitizing. Uh, the eschaton, E-S-C-H-A-T-O-N, simply means the end of the end of the world. Uh, now, I had. I, it's, certainly, this is not the first time I, I've considered this. Uh, you know, Derek Jensen, one of my Humpty Dumpty tribe heroes, he has certainly talked about this subject in, in his own rants, which go on for hours. Uh, his uh, description of immunitizing the eschaton, I encourage you to listen to some Derek Jensen two hour long rants to find out more. Uh, but I, it, it, one, one example I heard, it, 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 I think of another friend, I, it, it was the very same house as this friend told me about the Illuminati and the four billion people. This was a guy, a former friend of mine, our, our friendship actually fell apart over this. He's one of these guys, these, these white boy Native American wannabes that he acts like he follows the grandfather's path and 
what a defender, you know, he, he comes out talking like Derek Jensen. And he drives around in one of these giant four-wheel drive, probably 12-mile-to-the-gallon gas-sucking, over-the-top pickup trucks, which as far as I know have never left the paved streets of Austin, Texas. When I called him out on this, uh, it ended up him threatening to beat my ass, and he has never spoken, almost never spoken to me since then. Uh, but before it turned ugly, uh, when I was calling him out on it, he was, uh, I think he was joking around, but maybe he not, maybe not. He said he defended uh, his driving around this giant gas sucking car uh, as he talked about the demise of this planet he was saying you know he was saying that he was trying to bring down uh, bring down industrial society which is another way of, uh, of bringing on the end of the world by the world this means uh, society and civilization as we know it the, uh, and he said that the quickest way to do this is for everybody on the planet to run out and buy a Hummer. And as quickly as we can, uh, cause the ecological systems and societal systems to collapse by, uh, by using up all the resources as fast as we possibly can. And, and he was saying my method by, by refusing to drive a car at all was actually that, that, that I was actually holding off the end of the world. That the decisions that I have made in my life are actually going to take, it's going to take longer that I'm dragging out the process. That if everyone followed my model uh, it will take longer to bring down the, the, uh, the end of the world. And his model is, be is better. I honestly don't know if the guy was being ironic because to this day he continues his, his Native American wannabe act while driving around in this planet-eating, gas-sucking car. So I can only assume the man is, is serious. Uh, so bringing down the end of the world, uh, immunitizing the eschaton, uh, as Derek Jensen has said in his rants, and I agree with 100%, uh, it is absurd as this notion sounds that, that it is a good idea to do this. The, 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 the fact is irrefutable. I, I don't even consider this open to debate. That for, uh, that for every single species on this planet, with the exception of, of domestic animals that are basically human inventions, for every other single species of earthling that we share this planet with, from their perspective, this planet would be better off without humans on it. And, and, and that's irrefutable. That every other Earthling on this, on this, on planet Earth, would be in better shape. Their lives would be enriched and improved if humans were not around, screwing it up. And uh, I can't argue with that. Now, so some people, and, and so I guess to take it to the extreme, is if human beings were extinct. This planet would be, be you know, uh, be all the all the better off. I have constantly said in the, in the two years of me doing this that that the, just bringing the number of humans down to somewhere between 500 and mil, 500 million and one billion people, which seems to have been the naturally established the naturally established. Uh, carrying capacity that uh, that we were guided by for the first 200,000 years of existence uh, when we were not a threat to this planet is to get our numbers down uh, 
but I, I, I have enough rants about that, I'm not going to be led off onto that one. It's, uh, that, 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 that's fodder for a whole nother rant. The, the, the subject of this rant is how best to bring down the, this industrial civilization. Now, uh, one thing that you will encounter if you start researching immunitizing the eschaton is that is that we're trying to that anyone who who argues for bringing down industrial civilization bringing down this unsustainable model that we have created that is destroying ourselves and this planet uh, that we're that we're playing God that we need to let natural forces natural forces being the the correction well guys you know one thing can certainly be argued that that the the unnatural market forces they're doing a a damn good job of bringing this planet down uh just just the natural the unnatural market forces that is what has gotten this planet into this mess. It, it, it is the completely, literally unholy market forces. This capitalistic, consumeristic, unsustainable, planet-eating industrial model. And, and so my, you know, if we, if we just keep on with this model, uh, which all every shred of evidence says we're going to and we're only going to ramp it up I've thrown out 30 to 50 years that we will uh, that the, the present system will, will will bring this planet down and the only question remains will the population if we let this happen will the population of this planet be 1 billion or zero the way we're going it could very well be zero so that's if we, if we, this business as usual, that's where we are, but, but my, I think of big old blue heron flying over, big blue bird in the yellow haze of the sun, throwing shadows, leaving us helpless, 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 and, uh, I guess the question then that you know how helpless are we are we completely helpless in the face in this overwhelming uh, market forces uh, completely helpless well I don't think we are I mean uh, as as individuals we're not so I am going to uh, make the statement and this is I think is a, is somewhat refutes my buddy who claims his model of, of, of us all getting hummers to bring civilization down. I, I beg to differ with him that my model uh, will uh, hold off the end of the world. Guys, I assure you that this is an irrefutable statement. If every single person on this planet, hell, even if every single person in the United States of America made the same decisions in their life that I made four years ago in my own life is all the real estate agents out there all the quote normal people playing this game or were to wake up tomorrow morning on Monday morning and decide in their lives to uh, to play the ham bone little tail Humpty Dumpty tribe I'm, I'm mad as hell and I'm not going to take it anymore game. This society and this civilization would crash and burn it, it tops one week. One week. Because what holds up this civilization is this, is this consumerist model. And for those guys uh, who, who don't know me or don't remember the the uh, the changes I have made in and in, in my four in the last four years, I'll just 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 go through the the major ones. And 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 if every one of us did this, I assure you, 
I assure you, this, uh, this civilization and this uh, society and the world as we know it would come tumbling down. Now, of course, the major decision I made in my life, the number one most important decision I made in my life was at age 22, so it was 30 years ago when I decided to get myself sterilized before I had my first child and not to bring another planet eater onto this planet. Now, for a lot of people listening to this, it might already be too late. That they, that they have already let one, two, five, ten, who knows how many cats out of the bag. But if you are listening to this and you are still of breeding age, the, the, number, one, uh, the, the number one decision to make to help save this planet is to stop breeding. Don't bring any more little planet eaters onto the scene. That is the number one gift you can give your mother is to nip your little uh, strain of cancer cell in the bud. So that sort of goes number one. But I made that decision 30 years ago. I'm just talking about the decisions I made four years ago. And, 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 and they're mainly this is uh, that I reduced my level of consumption by approximately 90% in my life. 90%. I, I reduced my level of consumption and therefore my carbon footprint. And four years later, I find myself living in a 150 square foot living space with no air conditioning, uh, no indoor plumbing. Uh, that's where I am. So we'll take that. If, if every single American starting tomorrow was limited to 150 square feet of living space. This means a family of four, their house would be 600 square feet. Someone living alone like me, 150 square feet. A couple with a childless couple, uh, 300 square feet. I think you guys can do the math. Right off the top, we, we would have a major, a major advance towards the end of uh, the end of civilization as we know it and a major advance towards the health of this planet because as I talk about the 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 shallow end of the doomsday prophecy pool and the deep end that the shallow end is human civilization uh, that it, that's it, like if you're Alex Jones and you only look at it from the human perspective, then uh, then that's all you're going to see, and you completely ignore the deeper end of the uh, of the which is the of the doomsday prophecy pool, which is the ecological planetary collapse that is so dependent on what goes on in the shallow end and, and, and you can't have both. It is this hum it is this, this civilization as we have, as it has become, the shallow end of the doomsday prophecy. It, it, you know, it's all tied in together. And as the, the, the weaker the model, the unsustainable industrial model gets, the stronger, the more important wheel gets. It's the wheel inside a wheel model. You have to use some discernment and critical thinking to follow this wheel inside the wheel. It is the bigger wheel. It is the planetary ecological crisis we're in trumps the smaller wheel of human civilization. Uh, anyway, getting back to choices I have made, clearly guys, well, my decision to, it was kind of a two-part decision, was to tear up my credit cards. 
just absolutely refused to play the credit game, partnered with pulling the vast majority of, of, my, of my paper dollars out of my bank account and buying precious metals with them. Uh, if everybody tomorrow would pull their money out of the, tear up their credit cards and pull their money out of the bank, it would put the banksters out of business. The single, when you, the single most evil bunch of bastards running this planet, these global banking cartels would be put out of business in one day. Now, of course, the, the, it, it is not possible for everyone on this planet, much less in the United States, to pull their money out of the bank for the simple reason due to the fractional reserve, the, the, the whole notion of fractional reserve. Uh, guys, it, I don't even think 10% of, of the bank, uh, people with bank accounts would be able to access their account. If there was a run on the banks tomorrow morning, the banks would have absolutely zero way of giving people their quote money because their money is not in the bank. Do you understand it guys? If you think uh, that you're protected uh, that, that you have, let's say, $20,000 in the bank. Who are you kidding? If, if you and no one else on the planet were to go get, 20, yeah, you could go in tomorrow and get $20,000 out of the bank, but if every single person, uh, account holder in this country were to go to the bank tomorrow and say, I want my money, it would be mass pandemonium. The, the entire economy would collapse in a matter of hours. That would be all you need to do, is try to get your money out of the bank, and, and then uh, in tandem with that, tear up your credit cards, refuse to buy anything else on credit. It's just, well, number one, as I say, is just to refuse to, to buy 90% of the crap out there that you've been buying. That alone, uh, and it, you know, and, and then just refusing to put it on credit. It is these credit cards that keep these bastards in in, in business and keep you enslaved. Speaking of enslavement, uh, obviously you knew. Uh, I'm surprised it took me this long to get to it. Is getting rid of that gas sucking car and I'm talking about your personal vehicle I'm not even talking about shutting down the commercial fleets uh, you know that that keep all of the, these these uh, work this worthless crap uh, you know being moved around the planet I admit I am still uh, enslaved to that system that the vast majority of the few products I do buy, which is mainly the food I eat, is st I still get it from a store that, was, that is completely dependent on the fossil fuel system. So I'm not even, since I'm not doing that, I can't uh, sit here and hypocritically ask that you do it. But I would just, d just shutting down the personal the personal vehicle, if every single person in the United States of America, much less the planet, tomorrow refused to play the oil company's game by refusing to buy their number one product, which is gasoline, and find some other way of getting to the store, even if all the commercial vehicles on this planet uh, were, were, no law, were, were in no way affected just taking off the single biggest enslaver out there, which is that, that which is that damn uh, gas sucking car of yours. That alone, that decision alone, if everybody made the same decision I did, that decision alone 
would bring down this society, would bring down this global civilization. Tear up your credit cards, reduce your consumption of this crap by 90%, get rid of your gas sucking car, uh, even these other ones, stop eating beef. I'm talking just beef. I'm saying eliminate, as I have, one animal protein out of your diet. You can still eat all the pigs you want. Pigs, chicken, sheep, uh, goats, buffalo. Uh, eat all you want, dude. Knock yourself out. Eliminate beef. This one animal, if, if everyone on the planet took the, is it the Hindus, uh, the beef industry and, and its unbelievable attendant uh, ecological damage uh, would be shut down in one day if we stopped buying that particular product. Now, throwing away your television uh, well, hell, I did that one in 1998. I threw away my television. Just get television out of your life. My God, imagine the, the effect that would have, the beneficial effect that would have on this society. But at the same time, it would be, it would br just get it if everyone uh, in the United States of America threw away their television. That it, it, in itself could very well the, immunitize the eschaton. Uh, what other decisions? Uh, not shopping at Walmart. Just refusing to ever go into another Walmart as long as you live. That would put Walmart out of business in one day. Walmart, one of the biggest economies, where is, it? is Walmart, is it the seventh biggest economy on planet Earth? Would collapse in one day. The Walmart economy. Now guys, so there you go. These are the decisions that I have made if, if, in my own life. If everybody, uh, you know, in this country, much less this planet, would make these decisions, you would see the eschaton immunitized. Immunitized. It would be imminent in your face. You would see global collapse. And remember, this is with, with every, without touching the food distribution system, the global wide food distribution system, which has an unbelievable amount, but without even going there. Uh, and, and, and it would be absolute pandemonium on the planet within, within a week. I'm saying probably a billion people would be dead. Within six months, this four billion people that the Illuminati are, are, are going to depopulate us by in 36 hours, it would take about six months for four billion people to go, but that would still leave, and I very well might be one of them guys, trust me, I, I, I could certainly number in the uh, in that first four billion, uh, and my guess is that with within a, within one year, within one year, uh, the population of this planet would be between 500 million people and one billion uh, if we. Everyone on the everyone tears up their credit card, takes their money out of the bank to the best of their ability, reduces their consumption of this crap by 90%, gets rid of their gas sucking car, puts themselves in 150 square feet or less of living space, and turns off their air conditioner forever right there. 
is the is the Hambone Little Tail Humpty Dumpty Tribe plan to immunitize the Eschaton and save this planet. Now, the minor little detail that you, everybody, that me, you, your children, everybody you know and love will probably die in the fallout of making these decisions. I guess that is one small flaw in the plan from the human perspective, but from the perspective of every other species of living being on this planet that we share this planet with, that have every bit as much to right to be on this planet as you or I do, from their perspective, I guarantee you they are cheering on this hippie on this rock talking a bunch of nonsense. And with that, I will say uh, bye guys and I will continue doing my little part, doing everything I can. And there's still more I could do, but I think I'm doing quite enough to bring down this unsustainable model to share this planet with the rest of the Earthlings and to immunitize the eschaton. Bring it on. Bye guys.